What's up guys, it's Chellers and welcome back to another video of NHL 18 franchise mode for the Ottawa Senators. Today we'll be entering the playoffs of year 3, hoping to win that Stanley Cup. I mean, personally I thought we had a pretty bad year, we only got 48 wins, we did really good in the regular season. I think we got 4th place. I mean, that's pretty surprising for 48 wins, let's go check. Yeah, we got 4th place, 101 points, Tom Bay got 109 points with 49 wins. And yeah, so now we're in the playoffs, we're against the Boston Bruins in the first round. And now, from now on, I'm just going to be dishing out as many uh, franchise modes as possible because NHL 19 is right around the corner. So I want to finish up five years of this and then head to NHL 19's gem mode, and I can't wait for that. Alright, so let's... Uh, I said I was going to change the power play. I have to do that right now because our power play and our offense in general has been really bad. So what I might do actually... Let me just remember the defense. I think I'm going to do best lines. And work from there. Keep it like this. Uh, you know what? Riley Nash. Let me put Colin White on third line right wing. And put Riley Nash uh, as a center on third line. Just because. Just because. Anyone here else has a third line forward actually. Second line for Pajot, second line, Stone first line, Connor, second line. Yeah, alright, so we'll, we'll keep Colin White in the third line. Uh, yeah, we have 75 poise, I mean, Zadina has more, Pajot has more, Miller has more. We don't have a lot of good poise players, we have to make some trades happening. However, Point and Stone have really high poise. And Nash 85, Riley Nash 80. Conway already saw 75, Dezingle with 78, Gabrick with 83, it's not bad, and White with 80. Then on defense, yep, defense is staying the same, Shabbat has 79 poise, Carlson has 95, John Carlson 86, Victor Mete 84, really good for a guy his age, Brandon Carlo 83, the same with him, and Borowicki, I imagine like 80, 76. Yeah, let's look at our power play now, how does the power play set up? So Stone, Connor, and Point. With Shabbat and Carlson, yeah, this looks pretty good. So, uh, should I take out Mete? 88, 85. You know what? Let me take out Miller and I'll put in um, Colin White to play on second line power play. <clears throat> Alright, we'll leave it at that. I also got a penalty kill actually. White Nash, Zingle White. Yep. White Nash. Uh, yeah, alright. So our team is set, <clears throat> let's go against Boston, let's look at their lines first. Uh, I'd imagine they still have a pretty good team, even though it's year 3. Actually wait, no, I think DeBrusque and Donato aren't there, right? Oh yeah, they're not there, their wingers are really lacking, like, and Bergeron's dropping off, only 85 overall. I mean, his defense is still there, how do you do this season? 68 points, oh wow. Yeah, Pashanak's a 90, how did he do? 69 points as well, alright, he's not he's not a point getter, I guess, in this simulation. Marshall, 75, 60, 73. Yes, Marshall's been pretty good. 39 goals even this year, okay. So that first line is still deadly. Schmaltz, Hosa, and Krejci is 79 overall, oh wow. Yeah, I gotta fix, they gotta fix that. Anders Bjork, David Backes, Solarik. So, I mean, honestly, offensively, we have them set. Besides that first line. <clears throat> but, like... I guess you could compare like Stone and Marchand in terms of overall. And then you could say, I think it's Pointer Center. Point and Bergeron is a bit comparable, but then Pashanak just blows whoever. I think it's Kyle Connor. But then the rest, I mean, it's pretty much us. And then on defense, Krug and Ellis, we have the advantage. McAvoy, Grizzlick, we actually, I think it's tied in overall. I mean, how does McAvoy doing this season? 36 points, plus 3, plus 13. Krug. 58 points, yeah, crew gets a lot of points, and not a lot of power play points, a bit surprising. Ellis, let's see how Ellis does. 28 points, 35 points, alright, not that good. And Matt Grizzly, he grew a lot, I could see that. 29 points, 28 points. Let's see, uh, let's look at his stats, actually. 88 offensive awareness, yeah, he grew a good amount. Then we have, then they have Cronwall and Vili Polka, so, yeah, Carlo versus Polka, it's back. Who's gonna play better? We'll find out. And then goalies, imagine it's still Rask at 90 overall, Hammond 78. Alright, let's see how Rask did this season. <clears throat> 921 save percentage, 2.3 goals against. Yeah, Rask is solid. So, let's get right into the simulation. 
All right, so oops, game one is going to be at home in Ottawa. Let's see how well we can do, all right? So first period. All right, 1-1. One, one. Nick Schmaltz, Phillips Adina. He gets his... Is that his first career goal in the playoffs? I have to check. Second period. Still 1-1. One, one. All right, we're out shooting by five. It's a pretty even game, though. Penalty kill. That's a long one. Is this a five-minute penalty kill? All right, that's a huge kill right there. Now they're tied up in shots. <coughs> Sorry about that. Nine minutes left, still nothing. The shots are still equal. Five minutes, four minutes. Is he going to go down to OT? No, and Boss Marshawn scores with 47 seconds left. I jinxed it. 29 shots each. That was pretty disappointing at home, man. We didn't score a single. We only scored one goal. All right, that's not good. <clears throat> All right, game two. This is a, a pretty important win. I mean, they got to win away. That's that's huge for Boston. Come on, we can't get a loss. We can't disappoint again. First period. All right, Marstone and Marshawn scores again early. He scores late and scores early. Second period. Ooh, Marion Hosa scores. Come on, we only have one goal again. We might have to change up the lines one more time. Five on three. What the hell just happened? All right, good kill. Come on, we need one more goal. Power play. Now's the chance. Ah, oh, 10 minutes left. Come on. We're only scoring one goal. What is this? Penalty kill. Who's 5 on 3 again? Oh my god. Yeah, then Marshawn scores again. Yeah, that's it. Alright, so we're starting off at 2 nothing down. That's not a good sign. I have to change up these lines. Because I don't know what the hell is happening. Let me try. Let me try. Who's the best passer in the team? 86. Mark Stone is 89. I think it's be Stone. Stone and Sh and Point. All right. Let me put. Let me put White back on the first line. White, Point, and Stone. Pajo, Zadina. What's his shooting stats? Four star. Connor. Four star. But they're they're a lot better. I'll put Z I'll put Connor with Miller. No, I'll put Nash on the on the top line on the second line. I mean, then we'll put Miller, Nash, and Zadina. And I mean, defense, I mean, like, they're even. Carlson's a minus one. Eric Carlson is a even. Shabbat, even. Carlo, minus two. I mean, it's our depth. It's the problem. Hopefully, right now, Colin White can score some goals. Because we have two goals in two games, which is god-awful. I hope this isn't a short video, or else we have to do the draft also. All right. First, I'm oh, sorry, game three. We're in Boston. All right, first period. There you go, Phillips Dina, Eric Carlson finally scored two goals. Dean with 11 seconds left. All right, second period. All right, Braden Point, two, uh, three nothing. That's perfect. Here we go. Come on, we have a power play. Okay, we didn't score. That's all right. Another power play. Come on, we gotta score this. Okay, you know what? Ten minutes left. Just hold this lead. We have to, the shots at 35, 36 to 28 uh, for Boston. Come on, two minutes left. One minute. All right, big win, big answer. So looks like it's the opposite, man. We were amazing at home this year, and we lost two games in a row at home. And now we go to Boston and we shut them out three nothing. This could be good. Those lines could work now. Phillips Adina has two goals. That's uh, impressive. I think it's his first season in the playoffs. All right, first period. There you go, Marion Gabrick on the fourth line. Second period, perfect. Ryan the single again on the fourth line. All right, our fourth line is putting in some work. And Mark Stone, all right, beautiful. 3 nothing again. Oh, David Krejci, yeah, good, good answer. 3-1. Penalty kill, come on, don't allow this goal. All right, perfect. 11 minutes, 10 minutes left. We're at the halfway mark power play. Come on, let's put, that, put the pressure back on. Oh my God, it's a, it was a five minute and we didn't score. It's okay, five minutes left. Two minutes, one minute. Yes, all right, so we actually tied the series up. It's 2-2. Two, two. So it looks like the away teams are the better thing, and that's not good because we have a home advantage. Mark Stone has three points now. He got a goal and an assist this game, I guess. Okay, come on. Can we finally win at home? If we win at home, we just, we're just set. Come on. First period. All right. Uh, I don't know if that's Rick or Riley Nash, but Nash scored. Mark Stone and Stanitska scored. All right. Second period. What on earth? Pashanak, Marshall, Hosa, and Pashanak. Okay, 5-2. That's not good. Come on, can we answer back with three straight goals in the third period? Oh, it's already not looking good. What the hell just happened? How do we allow four goals in one period? Oh, Colin White. All right, it's interesting. 
It's not over. Come on, 10 minutes left. Come on, score one more goal right now. Oh, come on, six minutes left. Need to score two goals. Four minutes, three minutes. No, Jack stood Nitska, and that's it. Oh, oh, again, Nash. Trying to make it interesting. Why didn't you score that goal before? And Matt Grizzik with the empty netter. 7-4. What on earth happened? Okay, wait. I want to see which Nash scored. Oh, I can't even tell even here. Oh, both Nash have scored. That's good. Rick and Riley. All right. So now we're down 3-2 in the series. And Mark Stone has five points in five games. So the problem isn't that we're scoring goals. Now it's the problem we're allowing too many goals. We lost four goals that game. And now Boston's at home. They could win it right here. All right. Uh, do I want to change the lines? I mean, it's already... Because now we score, we're scoring. We scored, uh, what, three, six. We scored 10 goals in three games, which is amazing. But we allowed seven goals in our last game. All right, hopefully it's just an outlier. All right, I'm just taking a huge risk. Here we go. Oh, my God. First period. All right, Philip Zadina again. All right, second period. Ooh, Zadina again, Miller and Pajot. So we're up 4 nothing. That is perfect. All right, come on. Keep this. Let's start the third period. All right, so... Okay, Braden point. Yeah, it's over. 5 nothing right now. I'll just play it out. Should I skip the simulation? Uh, no, I'll just play it out. 10 minutes left. Let's keep it. 7 minutes. 6 minutes. The shot's at 39 to 27. And Pajot scores again. Okay, come on. Don't score all the goals now. Alright, 44 shots to 30. God damn. That's a huge shutout for uh, Carter Hutton. There's a Dina, six points, four goals in six games. And he's playing on a third line. That's crazy. Wait, is he? Uh, Let me go check. I think he's playing on the third line. Unless he's second line. Yeah, he's third line with Riley Nash and JT Miller. Oh, I guess because JT Miller's there. Really balances out. All right, come on. We're at home. We have zero wins at home. But let's just look at our record one more time at home. Which is just ridiculous. So here's us. At home. At home, we're 30 11 0. Oh, but Boston's 25 15 1 away. Never mind, they're a good team away. So yeah, it kind of like cancels out. But still, I mean, come on. We have zero home wins. We're 0 3. All right, here we go. Come on. I'm, I believe in this team. Come on. I, we have to go for the cup. Come on. Game seven. First period. Oh my god, Marion Hossa, come on. 12 shots to 9. Second period. Oh my god, we're getting outshot 28 to 13. 2 nothing, Marion Hossa again. Oh my god, don't tell me. Don't tell me. 13 minutes left. Come on, get one right now, please. 10 minutes, 9 minutes. Oh my, we're how? Look, we didn't show up at all. We're going to be 0 and 4 at home. We lost every game at home. After going. Oh, wait, Riley Nash, one minute left, four seconds. No, I think I was Rick Nash, I don't even know. Come on, that's so disappointing, man. We had, come on. We literally had, we went 30-11 and like whatever at home. And we went 0-4 in the playoffs. Like, how is that even possible? Well, we have to make some big changes to our team this year. Because uh, our offense uh, falls asleep. I don't get, I don't understand. So there are player stats. I mean, Stone, Stone and Zadina had the good. Car Connor the good five points, no goals though. Miller only had four points. Or is like Carlson only had three points. Point only three points. Colin White had one goal. I mean, yeah, our, our offense just wasn't there at all. Like when like when we were away our offense was on fire and we went home i like look at that 941 save percentage 1.84 goals against i think craig anderson yeah he, he probably when we allowed that those seven goals there that's annoying two shutouts even that was a that was a great start all right well we we'll have to make some changes to this roster because uh i don't know we can't make, we can't score goals so you know it is uh we're only 15 minutes in so i might as well send to the end maybe uh uh, I don't know if I should do the draft. I kind of want to do the draft and free agency all at once. Or maybe just the draft for its own video. I'm not too sure. Because, like, I thought we were going to go far, man. I thought we were going to have a nice, like, long, like, 30, 40 minute video. Instead, we only got 15 minutes. 
All right, let's just sim to the end. Let's see. Hopefully, Boston wins the cup, or else this was just embarrassing. And Pittsburgh won the cup. Oh, my, if Boston lost in the second round, I'm going to be so mad. 87 mils, a new cap. Come on. So Pittsburgh, so they won in 16, they won in 15, 16, 16, 17, and 19, 20 now. So Crosby's reign still continues. No one in Ottawa is retired. Let's look at the whole league. UC Okanen, uh, Jay Bowmeister, Clark MacArthur. No really big names. How about, did Luongo retire yet? I don't even remember. Well, I guess, I don't know if he retired or if he's... Uh, Still here, but he didn't retire this year. Okay, so we're at the draft. Right, yep. Let's look at the playoff tree. And oh, come on, please let me Boston. At least at conference finals. Playoff tree, come on. Okay, so they went to the conference finals. So we lost to the team that lost to the team that won the cup. So, I mean, that's still pretty bad. Dallas Pittsburgh, that's an interesting final. Sega and... Uh, Sagan and uh, Crosby, Malkin and Ben, that's interesting. But yeah, I mean we have to really reevaluate this team. So you know what? No, we're gonna we're gonna stay uh we're not gonna do the draft. We're gonna go through progress reports one more time, see if anyone grew during playoffs, which I highly doubt. And we'll look at the contracts and see who we maybe we could ship out for some new players. So again, looking at growth, Gabrick is dropping, Brandstrom is increasing. He's a 78 overall now. I don't know if he was 78 before when the season ended, but he's a 78 now and he just looks amazing. He's definitely making the roster this year over um, Borowicki. Gabrick, yeah, Zadina is growing. That's good to see. You know, Colin White, actually, I might tra consider trading Colin White. You see how much of a poor season he had this year. Eric Carlson, we're keeping. Our defense is staying. I don't see a problem with our defense. It's our offense. Uh, let's look at the Miners. So any big names really, uh, any guys elite, uh, French starter, no, no, Gustafson's a 78 overall, so yeah, he's, he's going to be the backup next year, Dobson could potentially make the roster next year, but I, no, I don't think so, let's look at his stats, uh, no, his defense is good, but I mean, he's just, everything else is just not NHL ready yet, Yakimov's. I don't think so. I think maybe one more year for Yakimovs. Hogberg. No, no, no. All right. That should be everyone, right? Yeah. Okay, so now let's look at the contracts. We'll see some potential uh, free agents. And then we'll look at who we have to sign and what we might do. So Mete is a free agent this year. I do want to bring back Victor Mete. Let's just look at our look through position. So center. So Colin White, I might consider trading away by looking at the season he's had. I mean, 29, you know, he's still got 30 goals, 50 points. I mean, he didn't get that 36 goal. Mm, I think I should keep White. How many years does he have left? Uh, one, two, three, four. He has four more years. Well, I think I'll keep White and maybe point. Maybe Pajot get rid of. He dropped to an 82 overall now. He is a free agent. I might consider not even re-signing him. Unless maybe, unless maybe I put, I keep the Zingle on the fourth line, Pajot third line, White maybe first line and point second line or flipped. Keep that as an actual center core because Riley Nash doesn't want to stay. JT Miller, uh, Kyle Connor, I think Kyle Connor might move out. 20, he only had 29 points this year. Yeah, I think Kyle Connor might be the one, uh, the guy out here. I'm paying him, even him, he is one, two, three, four more years at uh, four million. He only got uh, 30 points. I think Connor might be the one. He has a contract. I might trade him at the draft. We have Rick Nash, who he wants an extension. He is 82 overall. I could keep him, play at third line. I'm not too sure, though. Right wing, Stones, Adina are definitely staying as our top six. And then defense, yep, this is our top four. And then Brasham will play with Carlo on the top six. So, yes, that's that's good. And then goalies, I'm not going to re-sign Anderson. I mean, he's 39 years old. We have Gustafsson that could step in, and he has a, he does play really well 
in the AHL, so he could play really well in the NHL. So I think really Kyle Connor would be the one to go. So that means our top six would our top six would be Stone Miller, Point, White, Zadina. That's for sure gonna be our top six. But we are missing one guy, and it's gonna be a left winger, right? Yeah, we need a left wing. So what I could do is I could package Connor with something for a good left winger, you know, like a 86, 87 overall left winger. And have him be like a really good passer, maybe to play with Colin White on the second line. So we have a really good balanced lines. I'm not too sure, but I think that might be the option. Rick Nash, I think I'm going to re-sign him to play third line with maybe with Pajot. And... Oh, who are we going to put in that third line? Who's our third line right now? One, two, three, four. Oh, it's Kyle Connor, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. What? I am so confused. We had Paj. Yeah, because Pajot was our second line center. Yeah, okay. So before we had Connor or White. I don't remember who we had. Or no, we had Zadina as our third line right winger. So yeah, I'm going to do Nash, Pajot. And we had Riley Nash as a third line center, no? No, it was Dezingo. So I could move the Zingle on right wing, or I could put him down to center on the fourth line, not sign Riley Nash and go for a good right winger on the third line, like 82 overall. Yeah, all right. So now let's look at, uh, is there a, a, like a free agent class that we could see? Or do I have to go through each team? Let's see, uh, here, pending free agents. That's, that's not just, that's just us though, right? Pending free agents. Oh, not everyone. All right. So Taylor Hall. That's interesting. Yeah, Pietrangelo, Yossi, Backstrom, Nylander, but he will be a RFA still. Pugliarvi will be an RFA. Strom is going to be an RFA. Braden Shen is an interesting one. Dubois. Krug. Barry. No, I'm not just on defense. Let me go to forwards. Forwards. Svechnikov, imagine Evgeny Svechnikov, nah. Hoffman, Hoffman, we get him back in uh, in Ottawa? No, I don't think so. He's in New Jersey now. What the heck? Got traded again. Van Riemsdyk, Toffoli. So there's a lot of interesting players, but we won't know until it's actually free agency because we can't see the cap hits of each guy. So let's look at New Jersey, actually. New Jersey, this is St. Louis, right? Yeah, St. Louis. I'm just going to make sure Hall didn't get traded. So New Jersey, St. Louis. And no, not Van Riemsdyk, no. And we'll look at, yeah, we'll look at Hoffman also. We'll bring him back, if anything. So let's look at their contract situation. Okay, so we could, we could check the teams from here, right? So Ottawa, New Jersey. So next year... It doesn't say, but who's going to be a free agent this year? So they already offer Corrali and Fu contracts. They're probably both minor league deals with like like one mil, two mil contracts. Uh, Hall, back. Also, even Basham's in New Jersey. Wow, that's interesting. So, you know what? I mean, Hall or Basham, one of them might be a free agent this year. Uh, because like, Hall, like Hall's probably going to ask for like eight mil. So that's going to be an extra 2 million right there. I can't see how much cash they're going to have, right? Total salary is 70 million. Okay, wait, they're going to have 17 mil, right? They're going to have 17 million dollars of cap. So they have to, so let's say Hall is 8 million. That brings down to 9. Bashram is like 7 million. No, they can't afford. They're probably going to either lose Hall. One of Hall, Bashram, or Hoffman for sure. So this could be a really good thing for us, especially if Bashram's there. Because Hoffman or Hall is going to be really good. What about, uh goalies and King is also a free agent and they gave him a contract so you know what I'm really I'm maybe Hall may be a free agent this might be a huge thing how's he doing this year let's see how he did how he did in the three years 73 points 67 points 75 points so he is really good yeah he's really good all right so Hall might be a free agent I might still make a trade um actually I don't need to really make a trade at the draft I'll, I'll wait till free agency yeah, so how much does Mete want? 4.25. Anyone can get him for less. 3.2 for two years. 
I think I might do the 3.2. I know that 85% trick works, right? So 2. Point, let's try 3 mil. Let's, let's, give him, let's give him 3 mil for 2 years. See if he accepts that. Alright, so let's leave that alone now. Uh, Alright, so. We got disappointed again. I mean, I thought we were going to go to at least the conference finals, let alone the, the cup. But we didn't even make the first round. We lost in seven. We had zero wins at home. That is embarrassing. Anyways, next episode will be the draft and free agency. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Remember to subscribe for some more content. And I'll see you guys soon.